Hi there, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today I'll show you how to crochet these popcorn flowers, which can be used as a nice decoration on many things. You'll need less than 30 yards of worsted weight yarn and a size G crochet hook. You can make this flower with just one layer of petals or two layers. To begin, start with the chain two, which will produce a smaller center section. The first chain should be a tiny bit looser so you can fit stitches in them. Then in the second chain from the hook, make eight single crochet stitches in it. You'll continue around with this white yarn, then slip stitch to the first single crochet to finish the round. Once you complete the slip stitch, you'll probably want to fasten off your yarn and weave in the ends at this time. Next up is the light pink yarn. You'll place a slip knot on your hook and then insert the hook into any stitch from the round before it and slip stitch. Next, you'll make a chain three, which will count as one double crochet. It will also count as the first double crochet of our five double crochet popcorn stitch. So to achieve the five double crochet requirement of the popcorn stitch, we'll make four more double crochet stitches all in that same space. As you can see, I have five stitches here, the chain three plus four double crochet stitches. To do the popcorn stitch, we're going to first remove our crochet hook from the loop and then we'll place our crochet hook into the first double crochet stitch we made. Insert the hook back into the initial loop and pull through the first stitch. Then we make a chain one to hold everything in place. And on this round, we'll make a chain two to separate this popcorn stitch from the next one. We'll move on to the next stitch, which by the way, might be hidden a little bit since there are a lot of stitches in a small area. So you'll have to stretch round one a little bit to find the next single crochet stitch. And in this stitch, we'll make five double crochet stitches to form our popcorn stitch. We'll remove our crochet hook and insert it into the first double crochet stitch, which is right next to the chain two. Pull that removed loop through the stitch and then try to immediately chain one to hold everything in place. Then make a chain two right afterwards to separate this popcorn stitch petal from the next one. And in our third stitch from the previous round, we're going to repeat this process again. We'll make five double crochet stitches all in that same stitch. Remove the hook and pull the loop through the first stitch. Chain one immediately and then follow it up with a chain two to separate the popcorn stitch petals. Continue this popcorn petal stitch pattern around for all eight single crochet stitches. At the end, if all went well, you'll have eight popcorn stitch petals. You'll need to find the back of the first popcorn stitch and slip stitch into it to complete this round. You can stop right now and have a one layer petal or continue to the next round with some medium pink yarn for a two layer petal flower. You'll place a slip knot on your hook and then slip stitch to any of the chain two spaces from round two. Then make a chain three, which like on round two counts as a double crochet stitch and the first double crochet of the popcorn stitch. You'll make four more double crochet stitches in this space to complete the popcorn stitch requirement. And I'll make my last double crochet stitch here for this particular petal. Once I do that, it's pretty much the same pattern as round two. I'll remove my crochet hook and then pull through and make a chain one. But this time for this round, I'm only making a chain one to separate this popcorn petal from the next one. Now for the next popcorn petal, I'm going to place this stitch into the top of the previous popcorn stitch from round two. It might take a little analyzing to figure out exactly where the top of the popcorn stitch is, but once you get used to it, it becomes pretty easy to see. Then make a chain one to secure the stitch and a chain one to separate this stitch from the next one. Now the next popcorn stitch petal will be placed in the chain two space from the previous round. So do your popcorn stitch again, this time in the space. And count backwards if you need to, to figure out where the first double crochet stitch was made and the next petal will be placed at the top of the previous popcorn stitch from the previous round. You'll do your five double crochet stitches all in that stitch and then complete the popcorn stitch with the chain one and a chain one to separate this petal from the next one. You can see what this looks like thus far. Moving forward, you'll continue to place popcorn stitches in the top of each of the popcorn stitches from the previous round, as well as in the chain two spaces from the previous round. Fasten off the yarn and weave in all ends. And that's how I crochet a popcorn flower.